In molecular biology, screening is the process of identifying bacterial colonies that have successfully taken up and expressed foreign DNA after transformation. This process distinguishes between recombinant clones, those that have the desired DNA, and non-recombinant clones, which either didn't take up the DNA or took up an incorrect sequence. To achieve this, we rely on selection markers and antibiotics. Selection markers, like antibiotic resistance genes, and antibiotics play a crucial role in ensuring that only the bacteria that have incorporated the foreign DNA can grow. Antibiotic resistance genes, selection markers, these genes are included in the plasmid and provide resistance to specific antibiotics. Commonly used markers include AMPR, CANR, TETR. When bacterial cells successfully take up a plasmid containing these markers, they survive in the presence of the corresponding antibiotic. If they don't take up the plasmid, they are unable to detoxify the antibiotic and will not survive. Antibiotics in the growth medium. After transformation, the bacteria are plated on agar plates containing the antibiotic. For instance, in a medium containing ampicillin, only cells that have incorporated the plasmid with the ampar gene can grow. Non-transformed cells will die in the presence of the antibiotic. Blue-white screening, LAX complementation, this method uses a reporter gene called LAX, which encodes the enzyme beta-galactosidase. White colonies indicate successful incorporation of the desired foreign DNA into the plasmid, making these recombinant clones. Blue colonies indicate non-recombinant clones, as the LAX gene is intact and the foreign DNA was not inserted. Summary of the screening process. Transformation, selection, screening. Conclusion, selection markers and screening methods are essential in identifying recombinant clones in molecular biology. Scientists ensure that only bacteria that have incorporated the foreign DNA survive and grow, speeding up the process of genetic engineering and cloning.